Alrighty, welcome back. Uh, we are in episode four today of the Bridge Troll build. Uh, starting this episode and going forward, the uh, format's going to be a little different. I'm going to do the building off video, off screen, and then the episodes will be much more condensed, and it's going to be really a show and tell of what I got done in between the two episodes. So, without further ado, let's check out some of the progress. So, we all knew about this. I kind of messed up. This is back a little bit. Be <laughs> I, Man, I was moving my flame shrine, and I forgot to upgrade the temporary fr flame shrine when I moved it. And, yeah, it is what it is. All right. So, we come in. We knew I was going to do this. Put a little uh, thing right there. We're going to close this. I'm going to close this and we come in to the library. So instead of a reading nook, I just made a hole on library right here. I think it's awesome. I did my best. You can't quite replicate because we don't have so we can't lay the books on their side like that or that disheveled down there. So I did my best to make them, you know, leave some holes here and there to make it look like uh Similar to that one, so you couldn't tell just at a glance, and I got them to match like pretty damn perfectly at that top edge. That's fantastic. At least they do give us the carpenter gives us uh, bookcases we can build that are identical to that one. There isn't one for the other, uh, not not the same at least. But yeah, so far we're up to level forty six comfort, fifty one minutes. I still have a lot to put in this thing, but. We are getting there. So uh, obviously it's the tile, the castle block, castle stone wall. Uh, but I'm also using highly polished stone. This is highly polished stone right here. And it makes a really good banister. If you look at that, that's it, it's just it's fantastic. I guess it's because of the the uh, juxtaposition between the light and the dark uh, colored stone, by the way. These, the lighting thing they changed is weird. The fog inside your base is not gone, like they said they tried, and they cause these weird flashing inside your bases sometimes now. I don't know. It's weird. And then what I did is I put the tile up along the ceiling. I actually brought it in one instead of putting it against the edge, and that's my cornice mold. Yeah, see, what it's, look what it's doing. Why is it so bright like that? What's going on? Put a little bit of dishes up there. Maybe just like, you know, the fancy stuff in here. But yeah, this is great. I love it. Um, haven't done anything except the top with this. And then over here, I just, I moved the door a little bit. Put some railing up. Cleaned this up really nicely. And I started going into this. I haven't really done a whole lot with it yet. I've done more on this side. So I did put the flame shrine in and then I put this nice detail so we could look down on it. It's really cool. Nice chandelier. We need to get a better tall banner, you know, versus that thing right there. Like a thick, chonky, tall banner. Maybe maybe it's uh, four meters tall and I don't know, two blocks wide. So this I made proper type arrow slits. So I've somewhat lessened my strictness on just completely hidden plain sight because I mean, that's a lot of windows I put right there on the side of this thing, but you can't see it from the bridge and that side you can't see outside because it's so damn bright, but that side, it's just nothing but the shroud and one tiny little bandit camp over there. So and when you're flying down, you actually can't see it very well until you get fairly close. So this is uh, the rubble, as you can see, dismantle um, all the rubble on top of the bridge. We'll go up and we'll look at that because we'll talk about what's going to happen between this and the next episode. I'm thinking, I'm thinking blacksmith over here, maybe set him up with all his tools. I don't think I can do him and the carpenter in this space to get them set up properly. I was originally, I had originally planned to put the farmer over here. <laughs> and that's when I messed up. See, see, see that flashing? 
I don't know what they did with that. Oh, we fixed some lighting. No, you messed up some lighting, bro. Um, <laughs> and it chunked it like uh, right here. <laughs> here. Here over got just nuked because I put the temporary one in here, but it's whatever. All right, so let's go downstairs and let's take a look at what I've got some done in here. So this is where you actually show up and it, it pops you. I was lucky to get it. So it, it, you show up just like this. Boom, repair immediately as soon as you show up. There are nine huge containers. So it's 504 storage right here. As soon as you step off this, this one's going to be my dump bin. That one, and maybe that one too. And then all the rest will have, you know, all the kinds of stuff they have in them. And I also remembered from my troll bridge, the demo if you build a window right next to that quote arch that it's doing for the the beams that run across under the uh, road deck, um, it's nearly impossible to see this. And then I put a secret in that. A secret inside of a secret castle. Wow. So we're going to come out here. We have an outside deck. Now, you can't actually fall off, but... Phew, Man, it sure feels like you're going to. You can't it just I got it just right to where I don't need a railing, so you can't see this. This little bitty walkway deck thing is part of the bridge. You can just see it right above my spikes, right there on that side as well. It's just one block thick. Uh, it's just architectural detail that was part of it. Uh, when I went through to see the wall, I'm like, hey, I can see some stuff out there. Now, I did have to chunk out a little bit up here. I chunked out one row across this top just to give a little bit better uh, standing height. But this was all part of it. it. It it just was here. So I got a little bitty window over here and a hidden chest inside of a hidden castle. This has my legendaries. So I don't have everything over here. I still haven't moved everything from my base yet. But yeah, I, I thought that was pretty cool. It, the the door doesn't hide that well, to be fair, but it's whatever, you know. So let's come down and go down the stairs. This I figured to be the best use of stairs. You just pop down. I have not fleshed out this section here, but I have, I think, completed this section. So this is the first bathroom because this side, this road deck section and its tower is more the the workspace, the uh, where everybody hangs out, does their work, whatever. The living space is going to be in the other tower. So this is the bathroom. I'm going to come in, I'm going to shut the door, and then come over here, get my character out so you can take a look. I think it turned out great. It looks fantastic. I raised the height. So this is the flame altar, obviously. I raised the height in here so that the bath, the toilet felt a little less claustrophobic by having a real high ceiling. You have a shower, and since it has a high ceiling, it works out very well. Nice tub. You've got the... What they would do is they would warm water on the fireplace and pour it into the tub so you had some hot water for your bath. And you get to take a bath right next to the windows. Got a beautiful little sink here. Got the same high polish uh, stone there for the the lintel. Yeah, it just works really good. I really like it. And then we go down to another level. I have not done anything with this level yet. Uh, I'm going to probably add some like storage items over here. As you can see, I still have these things from when I was working on stuff. And then we get down to the jail. So this has all been fleshed out. We've got some... Uh, I, I couldn't find enough space to put like a quote overseer that would be hang sitting over here watching the a jailer, if you will. So this is the the regular cell where it's not that Spartan. I mean, it's Spartan. Don't get me wrong. Ah, I forgot to put in a, a cup and a... No, wait, I did put that. In. I wonder if that got nuked. Well, anyway, you can... You're in the shroud in some parts... And then you can get yourself up out of the shroud to sleep. You do have windows. But if you're really naughty, 
you get thrown in the hole. And the hole is a horrible place to be. Now, this got nuked a little bit when I messed up. Uh, I had one of those fur rugs down here for them to sleep on and a bucket to crap in. And those two things got nuked because it was just one uh, stone below the level. So we got some mycelium growth in here. A little skull candle. No windows except for way up there there's one that you can't even get to. That's kind of the purpose. You're in the hole for a reason. And a little candle there. So you can sit and talk to your jailer if you want, if he's here. But otherwise, this is not a place you want to be tossed down. Probably shouldn't, uh, you know, try to mess with the king's wife or punch the king in the face or something. Don't get thrown in that nasty place. So that's most of what I've gotten done. I have started on another project because, I don't know, I guess I'm a masochist. I just gotta, just gotta do stuff. I, I placed back the temporary one <laughs> after after making that mistake. Oops. The other thing I'm going to try to do. So for the well, well, we'll talk about that in a minute. We'll talk about the next episode here in a bit. So this is fully upgraded. and This is what it gets to. I don't know which line it is because it's this line right here. This one is the temporary one. So, we remember this. I had planned to do this part. Well, I have done this part, and it's walkable. You can walk up it. It still looks just like it did, except I cleaned it up some. We get a nice little... Yeah. We come in. So, just in case someone finds this, we come in to a place where they can stick spears through and stab you while the big stone door is locked in there. And you're in there going, ah, maybe I'll put a murder hole up on top or something. This can't be seen from any direction. I mean, you literally would never know that there's a window here and you can't get to it either. You'd fall off the cliff. Uh, this is, I did not do this. I just kept going until I started seeing holes and stopped. This is what the developer did when they placed this section down. It was left just like this. And there's those windows where I thought I could probably get just slightly underneath uh, as the staircase goes up. That's the busted road deck. I had to actually bring it down one level. I might bring it all the way across just to hide that. But nice big volume here. I haven't gone down at all yet. This, came, this is the same level you come in. And then I have a surprise. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking this might be a mage tower because I have a surprise. Hope you're not afraid of heights. And yes, I gutted this thing block by block all the way up. I did not increase the size of that column in any way. How about that? I mean, how cool is it? Now, I can't put a door on that. If I put a door on it, the stairs don't work. The uh, ladder doesn't work. It's just, it's too cool. But I'll, I'll come down and I'll show you that I didn't change that in any way. So if you look, I didn't go up this one. I was going to go up both. But when I looked and realized you couldn't get out, if you look from here, I can't really, I mean, I know there's a hole. But I can't really tell it isn't anything more than just damage. I didn't change it. I didn't change the dimensions of it in any way. I just hollowed out the inside of it. It's the same as those. Everything's the same. I didn't change any portion of it. Didn't rebuild it at all. All right. So what I was going to say is let's look at what I hate when I do that. Let's look at what the next episode is going to be about. One of the things besides fleshing more of it out, one of the things I want to do is try to get to that section there. I think I'm going to come here, go across, go under. It's not going to be easy. Uh, they they ruined this bridge a lot more than in the demo. I'm going to have to build some scaffolding down and go through that. I don't know. I don't know that I'll be able to, but what I might try is run my scaffolding, add one block. So one block in thickness 
right here. Add this all the way across. I don't think at a distance you would be able to tell the difference between this and the other spans if I was just one block lower, which would give me one block more I could gut out so that I'm not going all the way to this top. I only need three blocks high to walk through it. Four is better, but three is enough that I can walk through it. So that's part of the next episode, seeing if I can get over here, continuing to flesh out the interiors and show you those as we get there. All right. Thanks for watching, guys.